What's up, circus friends? It's me, Tracy, here from the circus office. I just wanted to share some news with you, or actually a pup date, because um, there's really not any exciting news at the circus. We are on a quiet time right now because we don't have any puppies. Um, it's starting to be a more common thing, and I think the word's getting around, but like when we have puppies, they go. Um, and they've all been adopted, and they've got great homes, and I couldn't be happier because I feel like the parents that I've chosen and that have chosen me are wonderful. They're perfect. And like they send me updates and pictures and videos. So I feel like I still, I still have the dog. It's not so hard. It's not like ripping off a bandaid and throwing it away. Like they're slowly, slowly, slowly peeling it, but they're not going to rip it off and throw it away. So that's good. <laughs> um, gosh, I've got great parents for my puppies. And if you have one of my puppies, I just want to thank you again because you guys are amazing. Thank you for sharing day-to-day -day stuff with them and their milestones um one of our litters had their first birthday the other day and i didn't even ask there were like three different of the litter owners that just messaged me pictures of the dog with their birthday cake and um their toys and they had little hats on and it was just so cute and i'm like i am so proud to be a part of this um this means so much to me so guys thank you so much for sharing um, an update on puppies, because we don't have any now, but we will soon. Uh, we are expecting Fiona. She is an AKC Frenchie, and the dad is going to be Frank, uh, or it will be. Um, he is a blue and tan tricolor Frenchie. He has a little tiny white, so that means he's tri, but um, the puppies are going to be AKC registered. They are due on November the 22nd. Now, if they don't come out by the 22nd, she has a scheduled C-section at like nine ish to go in and um, get get them delivered safely but if they come out before then we're going to we got the vet on speed dial um actually I don't know if I've ever told you but I have two vets um, we have Grayson Valley Animal Clinic which is amazing most of my Frenchie stuff goes there and um, we also go to Clay Animal Clinic which is about a block from my house and that's where I take the pugs and sometimes the Frenchies depending what the issue is but as far as the reproductive health of the Frenchies, there's a Dr. Campbell at um, Grayson Valley. He's amazing. Um, hi, Dr. Campbell. <laughs> I recommend him highly, um, but he is the one that is, did Daisy's C-section a couple months ago, and he's going to be doing um, Fiona's C-section on the 22nd. Provided they're born on the 22nd, which we know it's going to be then or sooner, they're going to be ready to go home. They'll be eight weeks old on January the 18th of uh, next year, which, God, when I say next year, it seems so far away, right? But um, we got to get over that Christmas hump, and then it's time for puppies to go home. So, yes, um, we are also going to take her in, Fiona, for an x-ray. Dr. Campbell's going to do an x-ray on her, and he wants us to bring her in on her day 50. Um Dogs are pregnant for around 63 days. Isn't that amazing? It's like they have nine weeks to be pregnant and people have nine months. Um, so, so much happens in those nine weeks. But Daisy is on, I'm sorry, Fiona is on day 33. Um, and on day 50, we're going to go see Dr. Campbell. He's going to do an x-ray and he is going to be able to see how many puppies are in her tummy. Um, I have an ultrasound machine. I, I invested in one of those for the circus. Um... And I poke around and I look and, um, and gently try to see if I can watch their little heartbeats and watch them wiggle around and stuff. But as far as a true count as to how many are in the dog, you really need an x-ray. Um, does it matter? I mean, I have people say, like, why, why bother? You know, but I guess it does. I mean, you, you kind of want to know what to expect or if you're going to have like eight puppies or one puppy. I know uh, Walter was born a couple months ago and he was just him so it was kind of strange um, but for preparation and for planning for the mom and what she's gonna need after care and stuff it's always nice and the x-ray doesn't hurt them um, but anyway what it is is day 50 the bones of the puppies are, are ossified enough to where they can see them whereas if we go any earlier um, their bones are still kind of like cartilage cartilaginous <laughs> so you can't really get a good view of the puppies and all that good stuff so um we're gonna go on day 50 and see and I will post pics of the x-rays I'm excited all that sciencey stuff gets me really excited because I'm like I'm a nerd at heart I really am guys this anatomy and physiology stuff is fascinating 
But anyway, so we have that. Um, that's with Fiona Frenchie. So we will have Frenchie puppies. I can't tell how many until day 50, but um, they're going to be ready to go home on January the 18th. So if you have any interest in reserving one, um, first just let me know. Just message me privately and tell me that you may be interested in one. There's no deposit or anything. You just You're just telling me, hey, when they're born, tell me first what you have and I'll decide from there if I still need one or if I want to reserve one. So if you let me know you're interested in a Frenchie, um, you'll have like VIP access to when they're born. I'm going to notify you first and I'm going to let you know how many boys, how many girls, what color, all that great stuff. Because that's the fun thing about Frenchies. You never know what color they're going to be really. Um, mom is an apricot fawn and... Uh, some people say it, it's called ginger, but she's an apricot fawn. She's kind of like an orangey color. I call her my little sweet potato. And Frank is a tricolor blue and tan. So it's a surprise. I don't know. And that's why I think the Frenchies are so exciting to me because I have no idea. Like, you know, if you breed two fawn pugs, you're going to get fawn pugs. And if you breed a fawn pug and a black pug, you're probably going to get fawns and black pugs. Like, not the same pug, fawn and black, but like, some are going to be fawns, some are going to be black. But like, with Frenchies, <laughs> so we could have all kinds of cool things, and you never know. So just keep me posted as to if you're interested, and I will certainly put you on the list. I'll let you know first, VIP access, when they're born, what we have, and you can decide at that point if you want to actually reserve or which one you're specifically interested in. So there's that. And then we've got, uh, oh, we've got pugs coming. Everybody wants the pugs, right? Um, I understand that. Pugs are a little more affordable than the Frenchies. Uh, but let's see. Wednesday is a pug and she's black and we bred her with E. We call him little E. He's Elvis Pugsley, but we call him little E or E. Um, so we got a black mom who's a pug and a white dad who is a pug and they're due on December the 4th, give or take a few days, right? Um, like I said, they're pregnant for approximately 63 days and then um, it could be a couple days sooner or later, just like people. But if they're born on the 4th, they will be ready to go home around January the 20, uh, 28th. Is that right? Yeah. January 28th. Um, she is on day 23 of pregnancy right now, provided that the pregnancy took and um, like I said, she's got to get to 63, so then she'll be done. Um, most of my pugs deliver around day 60, 61, so we'll see how that goes. But if you have interested, uh, if you have interest in a pug, let me know, and you'll get VIP access when she has her puppies. Um, I will notify you first and let you know how many boys, how many girls, and the colors and all that good stuff. Because again, with a black mom and a white dad. I have no idea what color the puppies are going to be. I mean, there really could be fawns that come out because the black pug can carry the fawn. But with the white, solid white dad, we could have white puppies, we could have black puppies, or we could have fawn puppies. Um, and I don't know. So <laughs> let me know if you're interested in those or um, if you want to wait till the next litter, that's okay. But if you let me know you're interested, there's no obligation. You don't have to put down a posit, uh, deposit. And when they're born, you can let me know, like, hey, I've already found a pug somewhere else. I hope not, right? I hope you won't. Um, or you could say, you know, my life is kind of strange right now. I want to wait for the next litter. It's not a good time, yada, yada, you know. So let me know um, if you're interested because I want you to get yours first and you'll be able to pick first from the litter. Um, let's see. Do me a favor, please smash the like button. Please share this post. Um, I want to see if I can reach as many pug lovers as I possibly can. I try really hard to um, to share the love, but I need you to like and share this post, please, please, please. And I'll see you next time at the circus. Bye-bye.